So following on from the previous video, we found this feasible region uh, that was satisfied by these four constraints, these four inequalities. And what I want to do in this video is introduce you to what's referred to as the objective function. Now the objective function is a function that you either want to maximise or you want to minimise. So if, for example, now this is a, it's a pretty poor uh, example to say for this uh, particular scenario, uh, because it's not very many uh, that we have, we're only going up to two there, but let's imagine that x was the number of uh, chairs and y was the number of tables. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to, uh, let's say, uh, the profit that I get on a chair and on a table is, is, is exactly the same. Okay, so um, then I would maximise x plus y because the profit I'm making on both of them is exactly the same. Um, for other reasons, because it might be to do with materials, for example, uh, you might want to minimise x plus y. Or the objective function might be something completely different, maximise 10x plus y. Maybe uh, the profit that I make on chairs um, is 10 times the amount of profit I make on tables, for example. So. Um, you could have diff all sorts of different objective functions that look, look like this, but you'll either maximise them or minimise them. And the question is, how do you do that? So let's try and maximise x plus y. So what we're going to do is I'm going to draw on to this graph an example of the objective function. Okay? And this is referred to as an objective line. So I'm going to draw on a line of the form x plus y is equal to k. The value of k can be anything you want. So if it was 3, for example, it would go through 3 on the y-axis and 3 on the x-axis. Okay, And would look like this. So this would be my objective line. And I could label it as objective line, OK? And essentially, what it is identifying is imagine that you have your ruler and you are looking at all of the lines that are parallel to that objective line. And I'm going to be coming into my feasible region like so. And the first point that I hit that's inside the feasible region will maximise the objective function. So it turns out, as I'm coming in from this direction, I am maximising. And the first point that I hit is this corner up here at 0, 2. So the maximum value that I can get from x plus y is actually 0 plus 2. So the maximum value with that objective function is just 2. Okay? So when you're maximising, uh, you want to get your ruler and then come in from the top right. And the first point that you hit in your feasible region will be the maximum. Now, you can come in and then have a line, an objective function, that is parallel to one of your inequalities. So it could hit that whole line at the same time. That means that any point that is on that line uh, maximises that objective function. Now, depending on the context of the problem, uh, if you're looking at chairs and tables, for example, you're not going to make half a chair or half a table. So. Uh, that would lead into what we refer to as integer linear programming, where you're only looking for integer solutions. Okay? So just let's assume for the time being that we're not. Okay? We, we can take any value we like. So maximising x plus y, the maximum is 2. Now, if you're minimising, and we're going to minimise x plus y, x plus y, of course, is that gradient. But we're going to come in instead from the bottom left. 
So you come in from the bottom left, and the first point that you hit in the feasible region will minimize that objective function. So the first point that I hit is actually going to be 0, 0. So 0, 0, of course, would give you 0. So to minimize x plus y, it would be 0. So you're coming from the bottom left when you're minimizing and the top right when you are maximizing. Now the last one, maximize 10x plus y. Sometimes, um, depending on the graph that you've got, it can be quite awkward to figure out um, how steep the line is, at which point it's going to hit, well, which point is it going to hit on the feasible region, it, can't, it sometimes won't be obvious. I mean, I know it's not going to be 0, 0, because regardless of how steep this line is, it might hit this point first, or it might hit that point first. I don't know, but it's not going to hit 0, 0 first. Okay? And I know it's not going to hit that whole line, because it's not parallel to any of this, or it's not parallel to that line anyway, okay, that I had there, the 2x plus y is equal to 2. It's not parallel to that. So, how do I figure out which one it is? Which point is it? Well, uh, we test them both. So we test the corners, or the vertices, of your feasible region. So, if I test this point, that corner is at 0, 2. So maximizing 10x plus y, I get 10 lots of 0 plus 2. So the maximum might be 2. I need to find that point now. So it's the intersection of the y equals x line and the 2x plus y equals 2 line. So I need to find that point of intersection. So that's when, so substitute 1 into the other, 2x plus x is equal to 2. So 3x is equal to 2. So x is equal to 2 thirds. Now if x is equal to 2 thirds there and it's on the y equals x line, then it must be 2 thirds, 2 thirds. So I've got 10 lots of 2 thirds. So that would be 20 thirds plus y which is 2 thirds. So we get 22 thirds. And that's clearly bigger than 2. So 22 thirds is the maximum value of 10x plus y. But as I said, depending on the context of the situation, it may be completely implausible to suggest that as an answer. Because if it's... Um, we can't have two-thirds of a chair and two-thirds of a table, for example. So the context here is key. But that's how we identify an objective function and be able to maximise or minimise it.